Hello and welcome to how to make a perceptual map using the free uh, Excel template that's available on this site. You start by going to perceptualmaps.com and you should see this page. What we're interested in is the free download. Okay, you can get it here if you need more information other than this video. You've got lots of information across the top here and lots of examples and how to use the maps. Okay, so you simply click on that, open it up with Excel. Okay, what you'll see is this page. It says simply type over the gray cells below. So these are the gray cells here. Okay, what we have is a pre formatted map. Doesn't look too good at the moment, it's not in color, but we can fix that. And all you need to do, you can see this one's for fast food is change it to whatever you like. So in this case we'll just call this very simply my map. Okay, and as you can see the heading has changed down here. Then you decide what attributes you want. This is for fast food, so I've got healthy and and junk food. Okay, and these things appear top and bottom, left and right, as you can see. So let's change one of them to locations, so a few locations and many locations. Okay, once we've done that, we can see that the map as we do it has been automatically updated. Down here, where we decide the code, it's also updated there. We can add new players, say we want to add Pizza Hut. And we would score that, that's probably a bit of both. So let's say five locations, it's probably got a, f a few. Okay, because I've changed this attribute, I need to rethink about these numbers. McDonald's got, got many attributes, uh, Burger, sorry, many locations. Burger King's up there as well. Wendy's probably a little bit less. Okay, I might add Subway. Subway is quite healthy. Quite a few locations as well, so I'm giving it scores. Okay, I'll have a look at this in a moment. This gives me different circle sizes. But as you can see, we've added into that data. So that data has come in automatically, so it's constantly updated. If I wanted to make all these circles the same size, I've got McDonald's the largest because it's the largest player in the market. I would simply make all these numbers the same. Okay, the circles go back to the same size. If I just wanted McDonald's to be the larger one and the others to be quite small, using a 3 to 1 scale, we've got that scenario. Okay, but I'll just reset them back to 2. Okay. Now we have a map that is not in color. So what we need to do is click on the map, go up to design, and I've got lots of design choices that I can use to um, give us a different look. Okay, so I might pick that, and I might say I want to highlight the McDonald's. Okay, so what I do is click on McDonald's, that's highlighted. I then go up to format, and go to shape fill and pick any color I like. That's my map. We've got some instructions here. We just simply click on it, select copy, and then you can paste it somewhere. Let's put it down the bottom here. And I would suggest you paste it as a picture. That way you can put it to any other word or a related activity and you can move it around nice and easy. So that's all there is to it. It's a, like I said, it's available on the website with lots of instructions for you. Much easier to, than doing it yourself.